Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt to hold in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy Bugs, and today, guys, we have some amazing news if you haven't heard yet. We got beta news, tournament news, NDA news, and playtest news. I think I already said it, but let's let's go on with it. Oh, gameplay news. There we go. <laughs> um, but before we get into this amazing 18-minute video and 50 seconds of pure analyzing this whole gameplay, I just want to let y'all know that if y'all don't know, the playtest is going to be happening from May 19th all the way to the 27th. Yes, and it's going to be cross play so that means it's going to be on console guys so if you are a console player that's been waiting to play this game you're able to play it and not only that it's going to be cross play so you'll be able to play with your pc friends and your other console friends is not on the same platform with you and i'm pretty sure i mentioned a tournament k okay? right a, a tournament what about a 100k tournament that's going to be happening at evo in august so you know if you're interested in the competitive side of multiverses there's going to be a link for the, the Discord that you're seeing right now with all the news and future tournaments. And I'm also going to be hosting a tournament in the playtest, you know, to get people prepped up and ready for EVO. And just to get the experience of, like, how competitive play of Multiverse is going to be. And not only that, so yeah, I know this is a legit and nice Discord that's going to be keep growing and keep growing. We have a couple of Warner Brothers slash PFG members in here already we have Viggs, we have Cini, and we do have Tony, but Tony is offline, so you're not gonna see him. Let's try to see if we can grab him real quick. There you go. Bam, Tony. But yeah. And then like I said with the whole NDA, no more NDA guys. We can finally talk about it. So in the gameplay I'm gonna be explaining certain things because I have the knowledge of it and I'm gonna let y'all know. And then if y'all are interested I'm possibly can make a whole video about my experience with the game of my last two play tests. Now, unfortunately, I cannot speak upon it and tell y'all what has happened. But at least, I mean, I mean, I can't say what has happened, but I can't show y'all pictures or show y'all videos. But this is amazing, and let's get straight into the video, guys. We have 18 minutes worth, and also. If you are curious on watching this on your own, I'm going to send y'all a link of the whole gameplay so you can watch this without my annoying voice in the background. But if you already watched it and now you want to analyze it with me and learn more information about what you can do and what can't be done and all that stuff with this game. For example, you see how the numbers are underneath them. You can have it at the top or you can have it at the bottom. Like how original games are like Smash or Brawlhalla and etc. Yeah, didn't know that, right? And like I said, we're going to get into a lot of information in this video. And I'm going to do a lot of pauses, so apologies. So this is going to be a long long video but worth it and let's get straight into it let's let's see what you actually have all right i'm ready to play let's do this prepare yourselves oh, let's do what we need to do <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm gonna load it down a little bit because like i said if you watch the ready thingy oh so these perks let's, let's explain these perks that i can see okay so this perk um right here changes um thomas jerry's normal projectile with as you can see dynamite three of them um, this little symbol, something I could tell, is triple jump. This symbol, I want to say it, it is vertical more damage. Um, it's 5% if you, it's 3% if you do it by yourself, or 2% when you do it by yourself. And if you do it with a partner, as you can see how it's highlighted, then it's 5%. So it's like more percentage. And then this is, um, a projectile, I believe, again, more damage. Again, uh, if one person runs the perk, it is, uh, a lower percentage. And if both of y'all run it, then it's like, I think, nearly double or can be doubled. Uh, moving on. This one, same thing. Uh, this one is a vertical ear, so attacking um, in the air gives you more damage. Again, since they're both running it, that's why it's like highlighted. Um, and then this one is, see how this is horizontal? This one is vertical, so just do vertical attacks. Again, bonuses. And then, uh, as you can see, you know, Ultra Instinct. Um, I think this was like longer distance. And then for Wonder Woman, I want to say it's like the Whiplash. It could be the one where you um go to the stage as in, like you go to your whiplash or you bring people to you something like that or more knockback or something like that and since because we have a long gameplay i'm gonna try my best not to pause it as much but i'm gonna try to explain what's happening <clears throat> like with all the stuff and also if, if you haven't noticed just now there's voice acting you know and it's gonna be out throughout the whole match so they're gonna be doing nice little commentaries against each other which is amazing as you just saw shaggy just went ultra instinct so now he does more damage and he has like a special attack where he fully charged and th does crazy knockback um, what are you seeing right there on Wonder Woman is called Armor Break, so she takes more damage now. Um, certain characters have armor movesets, as for example, you just saw how Superman just did that. I'm going to try to pause it to where he does it again, if I could catch it. 
Uh, okay, Shaggy. Shaggy does it right here. So he's um doing his charge up attack. But certain characters in the game, not every character, has a armor set move. And what it does is pretty much you can still get hit and take damage, but it doesn't interrupt you. So you're able to attack right after if someone's not attacking you as much. So say you try to do one big combo on you, or not one big combo, one big hit on you, it just breaks the armor, and then you're able to counterplay by hitting back. Um, but there is a counter to it. Um, there's two counters to it. There's one where characters um, have an armor break move, which you're seeing also what Shaggy's doing is because it's a charge up move. He's doing an armor break move where it will penetrate the armor and still hit you. And then the other one is certain characters don't have an armor break move, but some has an armor break uh, armor uh, armor you know set. And what that does is that um um it's like how do I explain? It? It's like you you attack so fast that you don't need an armor break move because your attacks are happening so fast that it's gonna break the armor and then hit the person right away before they're able to do anything. Um, you're not gonna see it in this gameplay because none of them are fast enough to do it, but they do have armor moves or arm armor in their move sets. Um, as you can see, there's wall ledge grabbing like Brahala. Um, I'm not sure if this was talked about before, but the recoveries are two jumps, two special moves, and two recoveries. And then, um, as as you saw, one of the perks was um, triple jump. There's also perks for like dodging, longer windows, and etc. and all that stuff. As you can see, armor right now. So Wonder Woman has a move set where she, um, one of her specials that gives her and her teammate, you know, the armor, and she teleports back to them, giving them like a quick like damage boost. I want to say uh, when they're next to each other, fighting with each other. So this game definitely, you know, prioritizes teamwork and actually working together. You know, like they want you to work together, which is amazing. Um, if you haven't noticed. There is no um, team team damage, so as of right now, that is what it is. For competitive, we don't know if they're going to change it or not. If you want my opinion on that, I don't think it needs to be. I know some people might be used to Brahala and stuff and be like, oh my god, you need it. We don't want people spamming move sets and stuff. As you, If you're watching the gameplay, this gameplay is very, very impact and very fast and just all over the place, low key. And it's just... In my honest opinion, not worth having team damage because at the end of the day, you're just going to be hitting your teammates nonstop. And I get that in Brahala, that's the point. You know, it's more skillful because, you know, you need spacing and all that stuff. But guys, let's just say in this, you you just probably can't have it. Like, I would love to try it out and see how it is. But playing, from my experience from the last two playtests, it's just not needed in, in all honesty. There's there's no real move like Brahala where you can like lock them and they can't do anything. Like you can get out of pretty much a lot of movesets. And also still get hit in combos and stringed a lot. Uh what Invulnerable does is like I think when you perfect dodge, you get a nice, you know, a nice dodge with speed away from your opponent. Um that little bar underneath, I really want to tell you what it is, but I really can't remember what it is. It's pretty much like a stamina bar, but not like the ones where you're thinking where if you have no stamina you can't dodge, you still can dodge. I, I just forgot what the bonus is of having like an actual full bar. So I really do apologize about that. Um, if you haven't noticed, it is first to four in twos. Personally, I think it should be five because, you know, it kind of gives you that like lenient of, okay, everyone dies twice. And then, um, you know, then that third person, whoever dies the third time is like, all right, it's your fault. Damn, you, you died that third time. But this one, it makes it feels like, if you die second, it's not your fault, but at the same time, it is your fault. I don't know. It's weird. I, four just feels weird, you know, from from other two v two fighter games that are, um, you know, always everyone had their own stocks. This game, you share your stocks, which I think again, it's so team orient orientated, which is so cool and unique. You know, instead of just like, oh, I'm so good at the game, even my my teammate die, um, I could I could clutch up. Now it's like, nah, if you're not also protecting your teammate and fighting as a team. You're not gonna clutch up because once you, four of your lives are gone, that's it. You're done. You're out as a team, which I think is cool. A lot of people might not be used to it and might be annoyed by it, but I think it's definitely worth it, man. Like it makes it feel like more like a team team game, you know? Instead of just like I'm better, so even if my teammate die, I could go one v two. It's like nah, you gotta work as a team to win as a team, you know? Which I think is cool and unique. Um, what else? Uh, this map is um one of their most I want to say chaotic maps. Trap doors, walls, and a ceiling, everything. Um, also, I was talking about the whole stringing thing. There's a stringing thing where um, some move sets when you're fighting, it kind of bounces you off. So, for example, you're gonna see in the gameplay where they bounce off the the walls or the floors. Those are m 
times where you can string attacks where they can't do anything like dodge out of it because it's like a like a stagger move pretty much you know you're gonna you're gonna see like when, when it happens when they bounce off of stuff um there isn't grabbing or actual shielding like how smash is but as you just saw with superman if you want to rewind back a little bit there are certain moves that characters have and i'm pretty sure you saw in the trailer like right there see how he stringed it how he bounced off and then hit him in the paddle one time he could have finished it but hit him with the paddle stuff like that happens um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure y'all would have seen it in one of the other trailers that they showed uh, when Batman combo Wonder Woman off the wall. But yeah, definitely. Um, he's he's uh, one of the characters that can grab and stuff, which is pretty cool. And let's just say, man, this game is very unique, so unique, man. Like you think, you know, certain people are the same because of this and that. Nah, bro, everyone is unique and plays like their character should be in a in a fighting game, and it's so amazing, man. So as you can see right there, Wonder Woman with her, with her shield, with her teammate, that's that. So even if your character doesn't have a, a armor, like a armor set move, Wonder Woman, if you run her, she gives her and her teammate one, which is amazing, and a great way to start going into battle. You know, you arm each other up and you, and you run in there. You're able to take one hit. Just make sure you time it correctly to attack the enemies. You know, right there, seeing Shaggy, you know, charge up that Scooby snack. I'm not sure if your teammate could get it. I'm pr probably sure you can, but you can't have it if you're Shaggy. But everyone else can have it, and it gives you like you know health regen a little bit, like five or ten, something something small, nothing too crazy. Now you see getting combo. You see how he's b bouncing him off the walls right now, stuff like that. That that's like stringing in this game, I want to say, or comboing, however you want to you know word it, whatever fits your vocabulary on this situation. But yeah, man. Um. Yeah, like I said, the information I'm going to be telling y'all is more like what's happening in the game. Um, if a lot of people are interested in the actual, like, knowing stuff before the game is released, um, you know, if I can see a, a lot of stuff in the comments saying, yeah, we want to hear more and know more, um, I'm going to be going live later today and talking about it. And then even then, I'm going to make a video explaining some stuff that y'all want to know before the game is released, you know, to give y'all, I guess, like a little heads up of knowing what to do before, you know, starting, you know. So so you so you avoid the the noobish the the noobish things to do you know, <laughs> but yeah. Um, I think that's it for the video. To be honest, actually, I mean, there's I don't like I don't really want to analyze you know every move set they're doing because you know you could just watch it and see what they're doing. But yeah, that's the that's one of the perks that um Tom has as you saw the dynamite that he's that he, that he's hitting over there over and over. That's cool. And yeah, and again, if, if, if for some reason you miss the beginning, don't worry. The numbers in the bottom. If you're annoyed by that, or if you're not used to it, again, you can have it at the top, or you can have it at the bottom. And also, if you're not a fan of the lines or the colors, that's another thing you can change. You can make the lines bigger, thinner, and you can change the color. So, for example, you see how it's red and blue. You know how the natural things are, and people does. Also, there's colorblind and all that stuff. But you know. Yeah, you want to be different, you know. You're tired of the the go the the red and blue, you know. Blue is teammate and red is um enemy. You could change it up. You can have your enemies as pink if you want to, and have your teammate as yellow, and have yourself as as orange. So stuff like that, you know. Just 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 a little customization that just makes everything cool um in this game. Um, what else? Uh, it's. I think that's it, man. At least for analyzing this gameplay. Other than that, you're just, you know, just enjoying the gameplay. Like I said, I'm not going to sit down and say every move set because, again, you can just watch it and, and see for yourself. Um, but, yeah, I think that's it for the video, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Comment about anything. You know, I love y'all comments. Comment if y'all are actually interested of making me making an actual video saying stuff that was not shown in this video. Um, to give y'all, you know, heads up for the playtest. Again, if you don't know, the playtest is happening on May 19th. It is a closed alpha, but open, um, open, um, um, NDA, as in we're able to stream it and record it. So again, if you want to watch that while you wait for your code to get on the May 19th, don't forget to follow me on Twitch, guys, because that's where I'm gonna be at. And the first time you're watching my video goes, hit the subscribe button, guys. What are y'all doing? Like, I'm getting y'all all this amazing content. I'm going to be giving y'all even more content in the future. I'm going to be showing amazing competitive gameplay. So if you're interested in that, this is the channel for you guys. And I'm out, guys. Peace. Yeah, she got a man. She don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA because she want to be famous. Got another five on the side. She a waitress. But it's getting tough. Hard to find out.